Hey, you bozos, do yourselves a favor. Come out and see the boys live. Oh, yeah. Stand-up comedy show. We play a little AYG with the crowd. Fantastic way to introduce new people to the show. So bring the whole gang out. Come see us. Yeah, guys, get your best gal friend, your best boyfriend, the group chat, your Woo! homies, the bozos, anybody. We're going to be in Red Bank, New Jersey uh, in August. That show's about to sell out. Then we're going to Seattle, Portland, Kansas City, Springfield. <laughs> St. Louis, Nashville, Indy, Philadelphia, Providence, Rhode Island, Boston, Atlanta. Get those tickets. We'll see you there. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're good to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. trash, trash I'm trash, your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here in Antutti's basement. She's upstairs on the Stub Hub trying to book some backstage passes to that Elton John farewell tour. Okay. She says she can turn them. Okay. <laughs> See what she's going to do. Right. She does got that mustache rocking, so I don't know. Sure. Okay. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman, and he is not to be trifled with gang. He's the Prince of Park Avenue, but always the king of the boardwalk. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. It's cooking. Cooking. And then, obviously, the greatest goddamn website of all Sweet time. Lord. I owe my whole life to this goddamn fucking website. Mm. www.patreon.com. Mm. Slash you garbage. You sign up. You get bonus content. You get episodes... Ooh. Of AYG every week, you get bonus episodes of Hard Feeling every week, which yeah. is a completely different podcast, a little behind the curtain, a lot Ooh. of fighting. That's where the eyebrows hit the road, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Better believe it. What's <laughs> going on over there? Hey, zip it, Shanghai. <laughs> 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 you look like a goddamn skyline over here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I am just like Tokyo. <laughs> Guys, I want a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. He works the ones and twos. He crosses the T's and dots the I's. Give it up for our good pal, Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? What up, T-Bone? It's a beautiful day in New York City. Sun shining. It's summertime. Perfect day for a little sweet tea, baby. Woo! <laughs> Tommy Maps over here. <laughs> bang, bang. Bang, bang. Gang, we couldn't be more excited. Get the fucking gang back together. Look at this. It's your road dogs all back road in the room. Dogs. I don't even like looking at you in New York City. <laughs> don't talk to me unless we're in Albany, okay? Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us again today. He's one of the one of the OGs. We've been together since fucking Jump Street. Started out on the hard streets of Philly together. Uh -huh. You can see him on the live shows. He comes everywhere with us. And he has a brand new album out right now called Life After Funny. It is his sophomore album. It is available on YouTube right now and will be available on all streaming platforms tomorrow, July 15th. Make sure you check it out. Give it up for the pride of Roxborough, PA. The second most famous guy to ever come out of Roxborough, PA, Mr. Tom Cassidy. Tommy! Nobody thought I'd be back. I'm here, baby. <laughs> Contractually, we had to have you. Let's get them views up. <laughs> come on. I don't know Let's why you fucking go. I don't know why you're wearing your pajamas. Though. <laughs> yeah, hey, Ebenezer. This is my go hosting back to, shirt. Go back to bed, will you? Uh, who's the first this most famous shirt. person to come out of Roxbury? I mean, there's got to be somebody. <laughs> this guy stinks. What do you mean? <laughs> Kevin's cousin Stevie? Yeah, shout out to Big Steve. That's somebody it. had to hit a scratch off or something award, over baby. there. Yeah, sure. Uh, buddy, congratulations on the album. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Life Not After Funny. Yeah. Second album, baby. Check it out on YouTube right now. 30 minutes of heat. Fully hosted for me. Made fun of them up top. Let's get the views up. There you go. You know, Grace Kelly lived in Roxborough. The princess. Not garbage at all. Pretty classy. Monaco. Heard of it? Did she get hit by a bus or something like <laughs> something that? Something like that. <laughs> she get caught turning odometers back? What's going on? <laughs> a fat guy in a panda shirt pushed her. <laughs> Uh, also, we got some nuptials coming up here. Getting married in October. Getting married. Everybody's in October. invited. Even so Toby. 
Toby's going. I didn't think I was going to get the invite, to be honest with what? you. What? What are you talking, you talking about? about? I was on the You're f- paying for half of this I was, thing. <laughs> I was on the fence till he, till, he, till he started coming on the road with us. Are you kidding I don't me? Know what you're talking about. I think I you're walking know. her down the aisle. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving her away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to kiss her. <laughs> I get first run at the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Show Kippy, the- Kippy's introducing Prima Nocta. <laughs> she got mad at me because I was FaceTiming with Foley on the LIRR going to Long Beach on Sunday, and I had her try to show him a little shoulder. Ah, she's yeah. a little upset. I got a little peek. Huh? <laughs> she yeah. knows. What, she knows who's keeping the lights on over at that dump. Mm. Cough it up, honey. <laughs> What's the honeymoon situation? <clears throat> we have the first half. Uh, first half. Booked. <laughs> we're doing it in increments. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. we're gonna hit Dover, Delaware, and then we're gonna go up to Cinnamons in New Jersey. You're the first guy to put a honeymoon on layaway. Jesus Christ, we got the second half on layaway right now. You gotta go somewhere and get jobs to see if you can afford the second leg. <laughs> oh, I can pick up some day work. Yeah, you're what? hanging out at the, out front of a Home Depot waiting to get picked up. What What Amazon uh, distributing center are you fucking staying at? We're starting the first part in uh, San Francisco. Shout out to San Francisco and all of the places on the road that we've been. What a beautiful, sure. except for Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> never, I loved Phoenix. I don't even never remember had, Phoenix. Who goes, oh. who goes on their honeymoon in the continental United States? I guess I, I do. Mean, yeah. I don't know. What are you talking about? Where? I mean, oh, I was thinking San Diego. Who goes to San Francisco? San Francisco is going to be cold <laughs> in in October. October. It'll be all right. What? It was cold when we were there in fucking Hold June. On. Take it easy. So we're going October. I'm sorry. We're going to San Francisco. Did he catch a Giants game out there. <laughs> <laughs> My mom got his tickets. <laughs> They're in the World Series, maybe. Uh, um, you're scalping tickets on your in honeymoon. October. Um, but uh, so San Francisco from Wednesday to Saturday. <laughs> He's out, there, he's out there in a kayak trying to catch a home run. So a couple days out there. You know? <laughs> That's San Fran, right? Hold on, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Wednesday to Saturday. What is this? A business trip? The first part of the first part I of the trip. I don't understand the first part. He's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you get? I know. But... He's got no money. <laughs> he's a bozo. All right. So, uh, okay. By the way, uh, that's true. By the way, <laughs> I don't got any money. By the way, tell me what Tuesday in October is the wedding. By the way, <laughs> first of all, it's on a Sunday on October 9th. Thank you very much. And it's a holiday We're weekend. We have to break into the church. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it by the lake. Just blend it um, into the nine o'clock mass. So anyway, to get back on topic. So San Fran from Wednesday to Saturday morning. Then from <laughs> Saturday morning, we're driving up to Yosemite. And I got a cabin in like near Yosemite from Saturday to Monday. Because I don't know how long I want to be up in the fucking woods. Sure. I just want like one hard day at Yosemite. Uh-huh. And then, so that's where we're at right now. What are you um, prospecting up there? Yeah. <laughs> we're looking for a way. Yeah, bring your sifters, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're panning for gold up in these parts. <laughs> That's to pay for the second half of the trip. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, uh, I strike it big. In the he other. heard about Uganda hitting it <clears> big. <throat> but then, uh, <laughs> no, Uganda just found a seven trillion dollar uh, gold deposit, and you just sake bombed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a couple more sake bombs over here for the big fella, huh? <laughs> Hey, fucking, try the sashimi, huh? Fucking bright part <laughs> over here. Um, and then the second... T-Bone, can you turn his shirt down for us? <laughs> <laughs> These are all LEDs. What are you talking about? Do it in post, will you? Touch it. You feel any heat coming off of this? I can hear it humming. What are you talking about? <laughs> I remember that episode Kramer slept right next to it. Um, what? But then, Kenny Rogers Roasters. The Kenny Rogers. Yeah, oh, okay. it was an unclear joke. Sorry. Uh, and then the second part of the trip, I think we're going to Palm Springs. But we have... Or wherever the train takes you. Yeah, we haven't booked that yet. Palm Springs, California. Yeah, where else? Okay. I don't Delaware. know. Isn't there a Palm Springs in Florida? Um, uh, probably. Yeah. I'm sure. Don't act like a fight. Who knows? California. We're looking at all over California. Beautiful state. All right. Mm-hmm. Why San good. Fran, though? Or SF is <laughs> the cool guys call it. You know, she wanted to go to San Francisco. This is basically what she wants to do. And she's my sweet baby girl. So we'll be <laughs> <laughs> And it's what's in budget and uh, <laughs> of the credit cards. And. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I, I would have gone. I like the beach and shit, but she's not like as much. Into Where would it. you have gone? What's your dream? honey? Think, no, not even dream that you could go and afford. Like what was like what was what would have been your choice? She goes, hey, babe, listen, Tomcat, you had the special come out home run. You deserve it. Where do you want to go? You choose the honeymoon. Parks Casino. Where, where were you thinking? 
Nah, it, wherever we're on tour next. <laughs> <laughs> Indianapolis. <laughs> Red Bank, New Jersey. Let's go. Uh, Indy's nice. Camden. No, Hawaii, probably. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. There you I go. I would say Hawaii. Nice beach area. Think you could have got out there? That's way different than San Fran on a Tuesday. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I mean, I'm imagining. San Fran and you're camping one for, for two nights in the park. Sure. Well, that's first of all, different. it's a nice cabin. And it's, not, we're not, it's not a yurt. Okay. 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 But that supply chain issue, that cargo ship would take a long time to get okay, to so let's Hawaii. Let's pick up the energy. Too. I need the that. views up on this fucking thing. No, but um, <laughs> <laughs> only guy who knows counts counts the views of his appearance, and the last one's at about four thousand. It's by at sixteen thousand four hundred twenty-nine. <laughs> but uh, Louis beat you in about thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Louis beat you before he was released. I know. That was funny the first time you said it to me. Because <laughs> that was a kippy. Oh, was it? Yeah, I texted you. I said, how's Louie doing? He's your ghostwriter? <laughs> I forgot about I was shitting on you via text. And you, you said he beat Cassidy in about 10 minutes. <laughs> uh. Toby, cut it. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, we're excited. That's good. The honeymoon will be fun. And, uh, you know, the wedding's right around the corner. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on. We're excited. That. We're happy for you. You got the mm-hmm. hotel. And you're not doing a band. You're doing a DJ, right? Yeah, DJ. Okay. Curated music playlist by me. Oh, okay. Yeah. This will be the battles from 8 Mile are going to be on there. <laughs> You're not playing any of your album at the wedding, are you? <laughs> There's a viewing party. <laughs> I think, I'm think i thinking about having hard copies. Uh, you know? Don't do that. It's a nice gift. Uh, Is there gifts? Thanks for coming. Because you don't really have a grooms. You don't have any groomsmen. You yeah. have a best man. <clears throat> yeah. Sammy Rubinoff, mm-hmm. our good pal. Dr. Sam Rubinoff. Which I still haven't heard anything about the fucking bachelor party. I don't think there's going to be one. Where are we going to be in August? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking you to Seattle for your bachelor party. We're going to Dave and Buster's, aren't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are going to Dave Let's and Buster's. Let's kill two birds with one stone, get a couple f- hookers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in Times Square. They're, they're right there, baby. Yeah, Tell Jesus Christ. Getting his dick sucked out of Carabas. <laughs> <laughs> Never ending breadsticks, Bucking baby. Let's do ball. it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you want that? Do you want the traditional bachelor party? The nah, you know the, the titty really. bar? The <clears throat> not really. I mean, I would, but I don't really need it or want it that much. I feel like she was kind of against it too. Like <laughs> it'd be weird if she was for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, go have some scavats. Well, she's off not. Off. She's not doing what's one. She, I was gonna say what's she so, doing? <laughs> she's going to Chippendales. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to be scooting around with a couple of her friends. She's going down to Sandals with her friend Enrique. <laughs> Some scuba lessons. And They're going to play the boards for a few days. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. How many I don't... people are coming to this? Uh, is this a black tie <clears throat> affair we're doing up in where are we? Syracuse? Uh, black tie. It's in Auburn, New York, the Finger Lakes. Beautiful area. Uh, it's, you know, it's formal. Uh, I still have to get my home suit. jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> no white. <laughs> the bride's family's wearing away <laughs> shirts for <versus> skins. <laughs> uh huh. Um, so it's like two hundred, I think, is That's the amount of people. Pretty big. That's the amount of people who are invited, but you know, you don't know how many people. Four hundred show up. Uh, <laughs> I bet you're praying. Fucking half Plus of them three. don't show up. Nah, it's all been. Tommy's for praying him. for a blizzard on his wedding. No. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Thought we were having a good time. Sorry. I guess not. Well, we're excited for you. We're happy. What are you giving them card wise? Uh, this is big. This is you know, this is a big thing. We ask all these, you know, these these famous guests that come through, we ask them mm-hmm. what they give at weddings. What are you gonna give to our friend Tom Cassidy? I'm giving more than anybody else at that wedding, I can guarantee you. There's that. no way that's gonna happen. Why? Because you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> you can get- yeah, but your family's all bozos. What are he, they he does you? have a point there. Yeah. Sorry, you stumped me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Get a couple of scratchers from Genie. I mean, no, it's, I, there's going to be four numbers. <clears throat> I know that. You're giving him $1,000? Probably, to be honest with you. Okay. He's my, you know, one of my best friends. We started comedy together. He's always been fucking good to me. That'll be easy, because he just let me borrow $1,000. So I'll just, <laughs> I'll just <laughs> hand it right back to him. <laughs> like lefty. It's in the card. You just Thanks, borrowed $1,000 from me, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Model. Yeah, you're welcome. It all it all comes full circle. <laughs> keep it. Keep the he just asked me for a jihad on the wrist, <laughs> and I wasn't going to bring that up. What are you doing, Aaron? Our business. What are you? He's a dirt bag. What are you? Expecting? I don't want people knowing I got money on the street. <laughs> are you <laughs> charging him a vig for this, or what's happening? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm beansy. I wasn't even going to ask for it back, to be honest with you. And then, yeah, I was going to get it. Uh, we got that nice... on tape. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're Toby an idiot. Got that. Hey, Cavill. Yeah. Um, but that can't no. be your wedding present. 
Because no matter what, then I look like a dirt ball to your girl. I got to hand you an envelope with something in it. That said, I already gave Tommy a jihad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what Tommy's been telling you. Hey, listen. You know, you borrow money sometimes. He borrowed money from me when he was down and out. Yeah. You know, yeah. before he could afford all of that uh, dog spray he puts in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> You're really putting more and more of that in there, aren't you? I'm Jesus hooked, Christ. <laughs> I'm hooked on the sun in. I'm telling you. You're like I one of the fucking it. old Baldwin brothers on Coke <laughs> with that amount of fucking... Blonde in your hair. It is weird. God. Yeah, I'm hooked on it. I love it. I <laughs> Put some it. in the beard. Straighten it out a little bit. <laughs> he can't do that. There's too many colors. Hey, I going mean, on. I would argue he can't do the top. But. Yeah. Dude, you look like a Safety Brothers movie. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Deep cut, but okay. All right. Huh. All right. Let's get back on track. What are you giving him that you're running your mouth? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I was gonna maybe five hundred. Five's nice. I, I was gonna give him a firm handshake with some eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> What are you talking about? What do you need? Xbox money? <laughs> you already got it. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, five hundred. I think is admirable. Sure, very nice. I gotta yeah. fly to this goddamn wedding. Sure. Are Absolutely. we flying? I mean, you gotta think. I'm like one of your first employees, so five hundred is good. You know? Yeah, it's good. It's a nice boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice you gotta boss. just talk yourself into four fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm saying it's good. I know you talked about <laughs> what the. Uh, what the entrees were, which isn't great. What are the accommodations? What hotel are we staying at? Because I might get the honeymoon sweep sweep before you guys check in. I forget what it's. It's a hotel. He said that, there's. He he said you should hurry up because there's the good hotel and the other hotel. There's a better hotel, yeah. Well, mm. that should be reserved for the you know. Yeah, me for dignitaries. <laughs> I mean, you could get it now. I send you a save the date. It's got all that information on it. Wait, we don't get hotels? What's the door deal on this thing? (laughs) I'm getting bamboozled here. (laughs) Toby's going to be selling (laughs) (laughs) t-shirts. Yeah, I got to make the money back somehow. (laughs) Big man's out a thousand. I'm out 500. We got to fucking, I got to recoup my losses. Is there a cocktail hour? (laughs) Of course. Is it open bar? Yes. For how long? 25 minutes. baby. (laughs) You can have whatever you like. But, now, are we doing uh, top shelf, or what are we doing? <laughs> what are we at, the Ritz-Carlton? What are you talking about? It's the good. It's okay. It's the mid, mid-range. Yeah, are you, talking well with Are you supplying the liquor? What do you mean? No, the venue does. Okay. Well, some places. I've you, had that where you show up, and like, to, like the, the, the groom's walking in a case of Jack, and you're <laughs> like, this is going to be a tough, <laughs> yeah. tough day. Sometimes you compartmentalize it. Like, you, you supply your liquor. And, yeah. and they and yeah, they, like we'll bring the booze. You guys staff the bar. No, it's and a the bring mixer. your own appetizers wedding. No, but <laughs> I uh, be surprised. <laughs> um, but thanks for coming, everybody. It's five dollars a cup. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be passing a bucket around in a little bit. <laughs> They're solo wine glasses. <laughs> With the stem that's on it. Idea. Solo that's, yeah, wine cups. Too. Solo should get into that. Yeah, oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, not too shabby. Hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, her family's classy, you know, for upstate New York, however classy that can be, you know. I Mountain imagine there'll people. be some camo somewhere but in this wedding. I don't think so. There's going to be a set Maybe of dungarees walking around. Somebody's going to sure. be wearing a baseball hat. I'm sure of it. I went to her brother's wedding last summer, which was also in upstate New York, mm-hmm. and one of the people got kicked out because he took his shirt off. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. T Bone, bring the cameras. But that this has like... Patreon written all over it. <laughs> the next Patreon goal is Tom Cat Daddy Cassidy's wedding. <laughs> and uh, he like pissed in the parking lot. So there's like that type of shit. But that was her brother's friend. He's not going to be at the they wedding. They sound classy. He was a nice kid. <laughs> <laughs> also, in defense, I mean, I've definitely been to, uh, I've had some weddings in my family where there's been some rabble rousing for sure. Oh, yeah. It's just not a good look to take your shirt off at a wedding. No. Sure. And. Later on in the Push night, the somebody bride. else took it. <laughs> <laughs> We're the maid of honor. <laughs> Does she have a lineup of broads? Does she have got a- one maid of honor? Just one maid of honor. Yeah. Well, I All think right. you're gonna get lucky that night, big fella. <laughs> no. Take a run at her. You trying to get run. a third? Huh? Trying to hook up with Rubinoff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should do this. I fell at a wedding one time, all fucked up. And uh, on the dance floor, oh, the dance floor was concrete. It was like that smooth concrete. Uh, nice place. What, out, in the, <laughs> out in the yard. <laughs> it was in a parking garage. You got shanked. No, but it was like it was like a nice event. So like one of those cool event spaces in like Fishtown. It was like nice. It was nice. But like it was like and it had an industrial vibe. 
Someone spilled a drink, probably me. And it was <laughs> it was it was one of those falls where some the, asshole puked and I slipped in it. <laughs> it was one of those falls where I didn't fall, the ground came up and hit me type. Like you know that feeling where you're like, I didn't my equilibrium didn't move. I just got hit in the head by the It was the like court. inception. Yeah, it was a, it came up and whacked me on the side. I was all fine. You gotta, you gotta do spilled it or whatever. You gotta you look like a real fucking bozo. Oh, and people man. come to help you. Yeah, you're like, I got yeah. it. Knocking over the grandma. It's a tough look. We were at uh somebody's wedding down in Maryland. Uh, my, my it was my my boy Jackson was getting married um, and my brother was there. Everybody was on the dance floor and some we were outside having a smoke or something like that. And all of a sudden, I just see my brother go flying through the door because they were it was like a mosh pit or something. <laughs> they were like dancing really hard and he got pushed back and through the door. And Somebody like, put some Limp Bizkit on. <laughs> Let's get this thing fucking cooking. <laughs> Somebody dropped a nookie. Let's go. <laughs> and dude, it was just like, what the fuck, man? And he fucking, dude, every, my, my cousin fell and fucking this one fell. It's a bad luck. And the one dude was like real drunk. He looked like a fucking turtle laying on like, <laughs> That's when you know to ooh, ooh, wrap it up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, is, none of do, that. Do you guys have any weird? I mean, because you're a dirtbag, you know. Do you, do you have any weird? <laughs> any, uh, any weird plans for the nuptials? Yeah. <laughs> for the consummation? Uh, no. Is the Philly uh, fanatic going to be there? Or <laughs> I mean, is there any weird? I like, had Philly fanatic at a wedding. My friend's wedding actually yeah. he came. Yeah, signed wow. by the Phillies. I know someone. Someone had as a guest or what? Yeah, he came in for like an hour, danced and stuff. Yeah, I know. I know someone had swoop, and that was like swoop. Yeah, the Eagles. Eagle. Oh, Sweet. yeah, duh. That's not mm. bad. They had, sw I mean, like, this guy's like, they're worth like tens of millions of dollars. And they had fucking, he showed up. That's pretty it was good. Like a, it was a black tie affair. It was real fucking, uh, everybody was bragging about that. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. I would love to have the finale. But do you guys do the thing with like the tire on the head and the zipper or whatever, you know, anything? Do you think I'm going to do that stuff? I don't know. Like games? <laughs> yeah. Tie around the head. Yeah. I don't know the tire what around the head. What the fuck is that? You've never seen that? Where like all the guys put the, I've never had it at a wedding, but you see it on like America's Funniest Videos <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> which I assume will end up on somehow. <laughs> well, like you put the tie around the head at a wedding. No. no, I know we, we've got we, we, we've talked about this. We, we we did the the upstate Pennsylvania thing where you have all the guys are in a circle and, and the brides on the, the dance, <laughs> the brides on the dance floor and the groom has to push his way through. Yeah, this yeah, like the, tie on the head at a wedding. The That's like a bell. thing people do. Yeah, but isn't that just them being silly? Is that a game? I don't know. I think it's a bit of a thing. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that now. <laughs> I might yeah, get no it started. Time. I'm just giving. You, I'm laying the groundwork for when I try. I after, think you could be that guy dessert. for yeah. sure. Kippy's yeah. doing the worm. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about ladder. Ladder, ladder. Come on, let's do it, baby. Life is fragile. You don't want to leave your family old in a bag. What you need is a little term life insurance, and ladder can help you out with that. Yeah, guys, the rising cost of living is fucking cooking right it's now. Goddamn inflation. Gas prices, student loan debt. You're trying to buy a house. Putin. And you don't want to leave your kids or partner in a huge financial burden. Ladder is 100% digital. There's no doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, just a few questions about your health in an application. Mm -hmm. That's all. You just need a few minutes and a phone or a laptop to apply. Ladder's smart algorithms work in real time. Not no dumb algorithm. These are smart uh -uh. algorithms that work in real time. You find out if you're instantly approved. No hidden fees. You can cancel at any time. Get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. Uh, finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now is the time to cross it off your Make a list. move. So go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Mint Mobile, baby. I love that Mint Mobile. You know who else is sniffing around the old Mint Mobile shop? Who's that? Patty Foley. Patty Foley. Asking me all kinds of questions. Is it real? Is it really Of course 15? it is, Patty. I said, yeah, Patty, it's $15 a month, baby. Plus, they got those... Those family lines. And Patty loves saving a couple of bucks. Patty Patty's likes saving a couple of bucks. I'll tell you that mm -hmm. right now. Shout out to Mint Mobile. They cut out the middleman. They pass the savings right on to you. They got plans to start at $15 a month. What are we doing? Yeah, guys. What are we any, doing? Anyone who hates their cell phone bill, I know I do. I'm paying about $17,000 a day, I think. But my wife, the bird. My, my wife, Scott Mint Mobile. She's been using Mint Mobile for years, way before this show even existed. Easy living. She had Mint Mobile, uh, and it's perfect. It's the same thing. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate, whether you're buying one or four family. And Mint Family started two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high speed data delivered on nation on the nation's largest five G network. 
use your own phone and you keep your number, the contacts. There's no like, ah, oh, you can use this flip phone or whatever. Whatever you got, you use. Same number, same contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a 15 month. 15 bucks. Let's go. And here's the gravy, baby. What do you got? Give me the turkey. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get that plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. That's crazy. Mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. Well, you have the cake picked out. Is there a cake? Yeah, there's a chocolate and a vanilla from what I've been told. Entenmann's, what are you going with? Uh, an Italian woman from upstate New York is doing it. I think she might also be doing the flowers. I'm not sure. <laughs> Tommy's wedding cinnamon roll. Did you ever find out who's marrying you? Because at one point, my name was being thrown around the ring a little bit. No. Because I am an ordained minister. Yeah. I'll... I mean, I assume we have celebrity status at this thing, right? What do you mean? I mean. The VIPs? Yeah, right? Yeah, you're going to have bottle service. What are you talking about? Nice. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Um, what was the question? <laughs> and when he was marrying you. Oh, sorry. No, we don't know yet. I oh, think God. maybe her aunt. I mean, you're still in the running. Swoop. No, I don't want to be in the running. <laughs> you're still waiting on Swoop. Uh, we actually want to interview you. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You got to come to Queens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm not going to the wedding. I'll send a check. I'll marry you, Tommy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can't, I know too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are not a man of God, okay? <laughs> no, thank you. I'll marry you. Yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no. I would do it good. What are you talking about? No, we want Kevin to come by. We're going to just, it's just going to be a few, like, uh, just to make sure that your, like, stamina is good. We're going <laughs> to. I'm not, dude. I don't. I've done it once, and it's just uh, a lot of pressure. Yeah, I know. For the, like, I didn't enjoy the, I did afterwards, but it's like sure. the days leading up and everything, you know? Yeah, fuck that, no. As a comedian, I it's kill, always though. just better to like, because you judge everybody on like their like speech and stuff. Of course, sure. And, and some like, of them fucking stink. Yeah. Some of I've been to a couple they of heaters stink. where they've or been good, and do, you're yeah. like, this guy's fucking yeah, killing. He He's not it, hamming sure. it up. Yeah, he gets He's it. getting in with a couple of jib jabs. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the if you get married in a in a church, sometimes the priest can lunch it too. Sure. I always judge the priest on the homily. You know, the little, the little crowd work he does after he reads the gospel. That's one way to put it. Yeah, sure. Are you from what do you do, huh? That's not really the crowd work, though. That's like the material. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, he reads the gospel, and then... That's the material. He's not yeah, asking, he goes in the, crowd. He's not asking he the lady what her social security <laughs> he number starts is. starts riffing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Going off the dope. Yeah, those Corinthians, huh? All right, let's get into some fucking Please. Uh, garbage let's questions. Guys, it. when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. The Patreons get first crack at it. And shout out to those sweet, sweet homies over there on Patreon, closing in on 5,000 patrons, baby. Machi, machi. Woo, that's like a small army. Mm, yeah. Could take over fucking Roxborough if we want to. Finland. <laughs> um, all right, this one's from Nicholas. Have you ever Googled how to make money? I for sure have Googled how to make money fast <laughs> when I was real jammed up. How and needed to make to... money fast. Well, just like, yeah. and it's always the same thing. It's like surveys, <laughs> which those things are bullshit. First step, get a printer. Yeah, surveys, uh, focus groups, which I used to do a handful. Remember that? I would go do focus groups. Mm -hmm. I do remember you doing yep. that. And they would pay you in fucking gift cards. They don't tell you that. You walk, I'm like, I can't pay my rent with a fucking $200 American. Didn't you do a medical deal. experiment too? Yeah, I had my hairline taken away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh no, but like there's also Craig's. I used to find shit on Craigslist to do. You need cash quick sometimes. Yeah, mm. sure, absolutely. Don't I know it? Um, I don't know. I googled how to defrost chicken yesterday, but not money. No, or like it's usually what did it say? To you put it in the microwave to defrost chicken. Yeah, you gotta uh warm water and put the chicken in until it gets to a certain temperature. You needed a computer yeah, to figure that Yeah, you couldn't get out? to the bottom of that on your own? I'm not going to this wedding. <laughs> <laughs> if you get fucking catch salmonella shaking I'm your hand. cooking the chicken. <laughs> uh, who knows? <laughs> I do have a lot of those YouTube things come up of like uh, like inspirational ways to like not be a bitch. So I feel like that's like- It's got you dead to rights, The huh? thing of how to- <laughs> Shout out to the Google algorithm, money. Huh? No, I don't think it's like how to make money is like how to get involved in real estate. It's like uh -huh. how can I get 50 bucks by right tomorrow oh, okay. to cop yeah, a bag? Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Sure. <laughs> I remember being on the way back from what's the the comedy zone in Harrisburg. I would fucking lost all my money. I was just fucking so poor. I quit my job to make it a run at comedy. Mm hmm. And I had like I needed like money, and I was just goo, and I was like signed up for all this stuff to get paid. It was so fucking bad. Like, give your opinion on. Triscuits and make 
three dollars and fifty cents. I was like doing that shit. There's something called not Roku, but Rico or Rico or something like that. Not Rico. I don't um, know. That uh, I feel like my girl did it just like you know for shits and giggles a couple of years ago. It is something online where you do like a survey or something like that. Then they send you a check for like eighteen cents, like three weeks later. <sighs> I need it's my money, and I need it now. Sure. I I signed up for like to be like a security guard at like an art installation. Well, I now I ended up not pulling the trigger and going because I think I picked up a spot. Didn't pass the psych test. But I was going to go down and be like standing like, hey, get your drink off the whatever. Like I was, <laughs> it yeah. was like wear all black. I don't think it was the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Tommy worked at a museum. Tommy I did. Was I a, worked at the Met. Yeah, I got fired for looking at my phone too much. Y- you've done this too, where like. You go to like he stinks. He stinks, man. where you go to game shows or like talk shows and stuff. Oh, you guys did do that. No, I, I didn't do. Oh, I didn't, didn't do, do it. I went as to go see Yamanika was on the uh, show and yeah, she invited was us. I was a guest. Cassidy was a Steve Wilco regular. I would no, not regular, but I went. You're to You're one Steve of the whack pack up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of that's kicking the Tommy out in the crowd. You're out there, dude. With I him. definitely got bed Two bugs on a bus. So listen, we got to let's Steve back Wilco. it up. I don't know if sure. we talked about this on your first one. So in New York, there's a thing where they're shot in Connecticut, right? Yeah, somewhere like that. Or like the Jerry Springer show, the Steve Wilco show, and they need audience members. Mm-hmm. And you get on a bus, you sign up, you get on a bus in New York at like Port Authority or something, right? Or mm-hmm. Times Square. Tommy, you are not the father. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, you are a loser. And they ship you up to Connecticut and give you like a ham sandwich Ugh. and like 18 bucks or Pack something, right? Pack a lot of Dune cookies. How much, what was the payment? It's 50, I think. No, it was like 100 or something. Or like 50 to $100 probably. Okay. I, I think it was at least 100 from what I remember. I don't know. I've never done it. This was know. a long time ago, okay? It was um, like three years ago. It was like six years ago. You know All what? Right. You get a little money on Patreon. <laughs> Should have never gave these people money. All right? Make what are you me talking feel about? Because I got to feed waiting... my fucking family. I was waiting tables three years ago. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I feel like I got bed bugs on that bus. Man. That was That tough. is a low of lows. Yeah, you got to take Bed your... bugs going to this fucking Steve Wilco show for a... <laughs> Yeah. For a tuna sandwich. If you don't kill yourself after that, <laughs> oh. it's smooth sailing, folks. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a tough one. Oh, that's bad. Tommy had one of the most brutal jobs out of all of us coming up. He worked at TKTS in Times Square outside eight hours a day wow. during one of the worst winters, I think, on record. It was bad. Remember how Polar cold vortex. it was? Yeah. I don't know how you fucking did that, man. It was a dark, dark. Time. But uh, that's where I met my lady, though, too. So we found love in a hopeless place. It was all worth it. She was dressed up as Elmo? What was she? <laughs> like she was Wonder Woman. Yeah. Dressed she was, up like Batman? She was uh, the top of a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> um, she gets Steve Wilkos to marry you. <laughs> there you uh, go. No. But, uh, yeah, that was crazy. It was so cold to where you would be cold like hours afterward because you'd be like defrosting like a chicken. <laughs> Google how to... The yeah. frosted Tomcat Daddy Cassidy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, this one's uh, from Geronimo. Ever referred to a security guard as a rent a cop while getting kicked out of an event? <laughs> 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 fucking rent a cop pussy. I, dude, he I even got a gun. I fucking respect that a little bit, though. A little bit. Because sometimes those security guards can get on their fucking high horses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they got to get, get their fucking car pulled. Especially at the mall. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like, what are you going to do? They're be like, I'll call the cops. It's like, all right, fuck it. I'm not waiting around. You don't have jurisdiction to hold me here, motherfucker. They don't help them out with the uniforms either. They no. should hook them up. They have real park ranger vibes. <laughs> I know. And they're wearing like the they're wearing like the hats that they wear at like the fucking hot dog eating contest. What? Those like old timey <laughs> ones. What do you mean? The hot dog eating? The paper ones? Yeah, like the, you know, the hello, my darling. Hello. <laughs> they're, they're like hats like that. You know what I'm but, talking about. Okay. I don't think. Re- the Barbershop Quartet. The, the hat's not people. that official, you're saying. No. The hat's a bad look. No. I'll give you that. And sure. they should have guns. What? No. What? Yeah. You don't want that guy with a gun. I don't want The li- guy who's protecting the fucking Annie Ann's pretzel? No look, way. Like a Listen, BB gun, maybe. Unless you got some nickel, no one's going to respect you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't even be there. I remember I got in trouble. Not in trouble. I think I might have said this. We were in Wildwood. And during the summer, they have like these like auxiliary cops or something they're called. 
where they're not like real, they're like summer cops to come in and help with the crowd control. Mm -hmm. I think the word is racist. And they don't have guns or anything. Are they my, I don't know. But the guy yelled at me not to, I was like on the curb and I fell into the street a little, like I like, you know, I was all bombed up outside Keenan's. Falling all over the place this episode, weddings, and I, Wildwood. I got a bit of a drinking problem. <laughs> Get your inner ear checked, will you? <laughs> Kippy liked the sauce, like huh? Like Vertigo Vinny over here. <laughs> <laughs> and like I like just misstep. He's like, I said get on the curb and I turn around, he was like an eighteen year old kid with like freckles and I called yeah. him Officer Harry Potter. <laughs> and it fucked dude. Every <laughs> other cop was like, Oh shit, Officer <laughs> Potter. Funny. I was like, Oh man, I just I fucking ruined your summer, buddy. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Cops love to intimidate like younger people, especially down the shore. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. getting pulled over, and they're like, "Where's the drugs at?" And it's like, just "Up my ass, officer! Why don't you get them?" <laughs> we just smoked it, bitch. <laughs> I'm high as a kite right now. Yeah, too late. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a dude when I was cop. when I was a little kid. Uh, Townline Townline Townhouse Community. Shout out to it. Uh, we were like playing by the creek or something like that, and this cop rolled in, and like, just by coincidence, when he pulled in, we, like, kind of, like, walked the other way. And he fucking, he's like, get over here. And, like, dude, this guy scared the fuck out of us. He brings us over for, like, no, I think he was looking to fucking do a little finger job. Uh, he calls us over. It was me, it was me and my boy Rodney. Um, Rodney. Yeah. Shout out to him. Created what's happening, right? Uh, he right invented now. the phrase, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. And I'll take that to my grave. Um. Brings us over, starts fucking grilling us. What are you doing? What was under your shirt? This and that. He like makes him lift up his shirt, makes me lift up my shirt. I'm listening. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was like Two real start weird. Kissing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll start grabbing the fat one. <laughs> fat one, take your pants off. Turn around. <laughs> and fucking he asks us, he's like, What's your name and where do you live? And Rodney coughed it up right away. But I knew there was something not right about it. But he's like, uh, he's like, he's like, what's your address? Where do you live? And I was like, why do you want that? And he fucking lost it. Gets out of the car, fucking gets in my face. He's like fucking pressing up against me like I'm up against the car. He's like, because I asked for it. Now, give me your address. Fucking took our address and then just took off. Hmm. Never fucking heard about it again. I think it was a cop, real cop. Could have been a trash man or something. I think so. Yeah, he was in, he was in a patrol car and he had the uniform and all that stuff. Could have been a stripper <laughs> <laughs> looking for your mom. He did have a boombox. <laughs> I don't know if those shorts were government issued or what. <laughs> is that is that thong authorized? Or? Hey man, what do you have glitter on your face? <laughs> Guns a squirt gun. Um. All right. Let's see here. This is from Coco, $10 homie here. Haven't had one read. Is it garbage if your dad has to tie your shoes at a wedding because your pants are too tight? That's pretty bad. Yeah. That means you don't have the right kind of gear to operate. There's got to be a heavy set guy because one of you had to tie my shoes recently, right? Yeah, I had to. Yeah. They call me a bad friend. I'm fucking tying this guy's shoes. Yeah. Like you're paraplegic or something. Well, that day you were good. What? That day you were nice. Tie my shoes for me. I don't need you to do it no more, though. So yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> he really likes to pull shirt down. I always have to pull, pull his shirt. Pulling yeah. your shirt down's a big thing. Uh, you need like a wardrobe team walking around. It'd with be you. fucking to nice. You, to tell you not to wear that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Could have used you this morning. <laughs> you look like you're about to fight Godzilla. <laughs> I did see you. I, a video of you wearing that came around not too long ago. Like I just saw it was like in a story or something. I was like, oh, yeah, that shirt. Mm -hmm. And I figured it had was long gone. Yeah. I didn't know you were... Had it behind glass waiting to break it back oh, out. Dude, my whole fucking closets. That that's all I got now. I'm just finding fucking gem after gem. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't call that a gem. All right. Yeah, that needs a little gotta, more pressure before yeah, it's a diamond. It's gotta hit the rock tumbler a bit. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about Adam and Eve. Ooh, I'm chumming up Ooh. at the sight of the copy. Toby, hit the lights. Ooh -wee. Gang, we all know what Adam and Eve is. We all know what they're selling. Uh -huh. And we all know you want it right now. 50% off almost anything they got on the website when you use the promo code GARBAGE. And it's not just that, big man. Plus, you get free shipping. Yeah, They're discreetly. Taking, yeah, they should ship to your door. It doesn't say, like, dildos are us or anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Or whatever Woo. kind of weird stuff you're into. We're not judging, and neither does Adam and Eve. They send it to your door in a nice package. Yeah. People think you're just getting toilet paper. 
delivered. I like it and, weird. And maybe it's something for the butt as well. <laughs> I don't know. That's up to you. It's your prerogative. Either way, you're going to be walking funny. Whether it's for you and the mister, you and the missus, or just you. Some a little a little kippy time. Whatever you want, they got Doing it for you. Doing a solo act. Penis pumps, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I got about. one right here. It's not my bag, baby. <laughs> uh, Adam and Eve has it all and blow up dolls that won't blow up your wallet. That's a good copy right there. <laughs> I don't care what you say. Business. Go to adamandeve.com. Select, Have some fun. Select any one item and use code GARBAGE. Uh, this is an exclusive offer. Uh specific to this podcast so be sure to support our show and use yes. code garbage to get 50 percent off and free shipping adamandeve.com right now uh support the show by using code garbage for 50 percent off and free shipping at adamandeve.com now back to the show too tight of a suit is just weird that you can't bet you would have to be too fat i guess but i don't know man a jam- pair a pair of tight pants can really jam you up and you don't i hate it yeah, I don't think if suit pants get tight, I don't think you realize how tight they are and, and how limited your motion. And that that material's thin. Those split pretty easily. You fuck yourself As a up. guy who split a couple of pairs of pants in his yeah. day. You're right before up. he fell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think made me fell? His pants yeah. are too goddamn tight. Yeah. You're hopping on that fucking party bus and you fucking go a little fucking long in the leg. Yeah. And I'm you're done. done. You're, yeah. Then what do you do? Mm-hmm. What do you do at the wedding? You go back to the hotel, put on a pair of jeans. Like your Bruce Willis? Yeah. Yeah, no. I so. saw him banged up by the Columbus Circle one day. Real fucked Real up at drunk. like one in the afternoon. Yeah. Like falling down the stairs fucked up. Coming out of that French place that all those celebrities go to right there to Columbus Circle. He Not came. Rue 57. No. It's crazy coming out at one. That means he might have been there he was, since like the night before. Yeah, he was banged up. I fucking had a it looked real good. Had like a top hat, not a top hat, but like a hat on, a fucking scarf. It was like a winner. He looked, you know, you can tell a rich guy in the winter because they're sure. real put together. They got all the accoutrement. Mm-hmm. They you know, know how to mean? wear those scarves really good. The, too. the scarf's tied real fucking tight. It's mm-hmm. tucked in. They got the matching gloves, the yeah. nine yards. Not wearing a fucking Eagles hat. Nope. They can um, tie their shoes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he could at the time, but yeah. you know. Uh, all right, this one's from Andrew. Ten dollar, ten dollar homie conversion. Thirteen sixty Canadian homie here. Nice. Ooh. Have you ever splash someone, splash someone with your car on purpose? <laughs> it's a dick move, but kind of fun. I gotta give you. If that. you're watching it, it's a good time. Yeah, if you're the guy getting splashed, that's bad news. Yeah, life's all about timing. Mm-hmm. I don't and think I fun. ever have. I have. I've it. been fucked up. I've been hit by somebody. Yeah. Where you're like. Yeah. Well, that's I gotta go home. You know, yeah. you can't fucking show up at the office. That's fucking. a day changer. Yeah, yeah. I really was a prime is. target when I was a kid. Little fat kid standing there waiting for the bus. Mm-hmm. Older kids driving to fucking high Big school. They used to fucking light me up all the time. <laughs> that's fucking brutal. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, why were you waiting for the bus at that early in the morning? That don't make no sense. I was waiting for the bus, and those kids were driving. Those kids were older, going driving to themselves to get school. first breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I open up McDonald's. I imagine you were a breakfast at school kid. That's real trashy. No, not really. I don't because they didn't really have it. But no, I saw to the to the pond thing when I worked at TKTS, which we mentioned earlier. There was these Chicago girls where they would dress up like the people from Chicago. The mo- the the thing, the, the, the musical, play, the musical. Yeah, the musical Chicago. They're like red stockings. Not just a couple of fucking black. whores from fucking. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the south side. No, Bob no. Fosse. <laughs> Heard of them? But anyway, but they're yeah, they're all dialed up, and some of them like really play it super serious, like they're in the musical while they're doing it, and yeah. they're just handing they're out flyers. Yeah. A girl dropped, I'm a method actor myself. A girl dropped her Chicago Flyers completely dressed like that. Somebody timed it perfectly where, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but like a literal tidal wave hit this broad. And she just got up and danced and like danced it <laughs> off. Fucking, yeah. Don't worry about like, me. It was amazing. She was like a robot. I could, <laughs> it was really something. Man, that's delusion right there. I love it. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. I'm going for it. <laughs> Got to stay in character, baby. Yikes. We used to... Uh, we used to egg cars a lot, which was always fun. Way too. We would get drunk and do it like idiots. Yeah, egg and cars was egg and houses was, was, was nothing to shake a stick at either. It was a good fucking yeah. time. I got got one time. I remember I got hit bad. These dudes fucking. I was like sixteen or was eighteen. You got like, egged. My car did. Okay. I was just driving down to a random road, and there's a line of trees. And like three, like they just fucking whitewashed my windshield. I couldn't see shit. I had to pull over and stop. Dude. I was flying blind. But there was no way, there was nowhere for me to turn around to get, it was like perfect, perfect execution of, there was no way I was catching them ever. Yeah. Like if I did turn around and try, I'd have to go through a neighborhood, then loop back around. What were you going to get the shit kicked out of you? 
No, of course. No, I'm just saying I wasn't going to do that. I'm saying I respect it. I was like, I got got. They fucking, there was no no way for me to go after them at all. <laughs> yeah. We had this one house in our neighborhood that was a fucking, that was number one target. This fucking dickhead kid lived there. And the house had been egged so many times that that particular mischief night, his dad was outside waiting in a car with a cup of coffee. Ooh. And fucking, we rolled through, fucking rolled down the street, <laughs> fucking lobbed a couple at the house, fucking laughed, and we scurried off into the night, went to my boy Ernie's house. Threw hot Ernie. coffee on your face. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Threw hot coffee in your yeah. face. Now <laughs> you're all in big, you're big touch. Got you hogtied in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Putting cigs out on you. Kiss like, Rodney again. <laughs> it's like Pulp Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Got us down in the basement with the him. Bet you took some real medieval shit down there. <laughs> But uh, we go and sit on his porch, and all of a sudden, this guy comes walking up. We didn't even think about it. He's like, huh? You like hanging out? You like hanging out? Huh? I don't know, man. <laughs> Shout out to Ernie's mom. She was this real old school Italian lady. She didn't give a fuck. Yeah. He, she's like, hey, kid, get the fuck off my porch. We didn't do anything. We weren't even here, Kids man. were here all night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Real guinea old shit. Yeah. <laughs> Now give me your clothes. I'm going to wash them. <laughs> Get the yoke out of your clothes. <laughs> She's out in the back burning them like the Irish. <laughs> you want something neat? Give me the watch, too. <laughs> Kids are the fuck, yeah. The uh, Irish. <laughs> Isn't that the Irishman? She yeah. burns Pesci's clothes. Yeah, the... Russell, don't forget your shoes. Oh, That's man. a real ride or die broad, that one. Yeah, she was. Shout out to Mrs. Ray to Sony. Uh, I think I've I've had to mention this at some point. My uh, my mom took us out for mischief night one year. <laughs> I think I've, I've had to. That's had to come up. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Yeah. We wanted to go. We were kids. What did she? What did she have on her gimp costume? <laughs> What's going on? She got yeah, a leather skilly suit on. We were fucking <laughs> not trying to get made. Um, <laughs> throwing organic eggs. <laughs> Your mom. Yeah. She's down there pulling the honey pot on somebody. <laughs> I'll lure him into the alley and you kids jump him. <laughs> See what are you, the fucking dead rabbits? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, what the shit. Fuck? So, yeah, what? we just like break into a house, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pull in a Cincinnati high rise. You just steal a car or something. Yeah. You know? she t- well, what were you armed with? <laughs> with a fucking nickel. What do you mean? <laughs> a fucking. Had a, uh, no. How old were we... you, by the way? <laughs> 25. That's yeah. wild. You've I'm, never told this. What? She took you out on mischief. <laughs> what did you guys do? Kill the homeless guy. <laughs> A couple of beanies. Uh-huh. No, it was real innocent. I think That's we wanted... That's how it started? <laughs> <laughs> it was all fun and games, uh, I tell you. Yeah. Uh, we... Set the neighbor's cat on fire? <laughs> no. I think we were very young and we wanted to go out, so I think we just did like... People we knew's ha- like toilet paper, somebody we know's house or something. I it, in hindsight, yeah. it was probably a somebody s- from work she had a grudge <laughs> with. Yeah. Don't worry, the cleaning lady will fix yeah. it. Right, um, piece of shit. It was, it, it was more like I, I'm assuming she was probably like, hey, I don't, I don't. There was a big group of us probably with a couple s- of parents. Probably some lady that ate her yogurt in the snack room. <laughs> Getting back at her. How do you like that, Peggy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <whore. laughs> Janet Rossi in, in apartment 5C is a whore. That, yeah. yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember all the details, but it didn't seem crazy. I think we like toilet paper in like trees to like people we knew. Kind Just of. take your own house, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> She took me to my dad's house. <laughs> she set you up. <laughs> she starts hanging you guys. Should you shit in your dad's bed? Uh, I don't. Re- <laughs> I don't think it was that. That it wasn't that. Uh, you know. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, man, we're trash. I don't know what you want from me. <sighs> he was a single mom trying to figure it all out. You yeah, know? I mm-hmm. guess so. That's wild. That's one way to do it. Tommy, you ever get any hijinks like that? You're a city kid. Remember, I got in trouble by my mom from like looking at the porn Stealing section weed. when I was little, like. That was like the one time I got in trouble as a, as a child. Hey, you little creep. We're talking about mischief. <laughs> Suncoast video. That's a little not mischief. Your, not, you know? <laughs> not your repressed Irish sexuality. Yeah. The temptation of the flesh. <laughs> I, what uh, are you looking at? You like that, you little pervert? I think I like tried to like smash a mailbox once with like a baseball bat when I was like like what almost you in the 50s. In like high school, we tried doing that and like the it was so like hard it just 
fucking hurt my arms and hurt me. I think Jeez. I just tried once. I was like, that hurt. Yeah, he had weak bones back <laughs> then. Yeah, probably broken and arm. Now. Uh, but yeah, so. Malnourished little kid off the streets of Roxbury. You can't swing mm-hmm. a baseball bat. He's got bird bones. <laughs> Uh, all right, this one's from Brian. Long time homie here. Never had one read. You're 0 and 1 against mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> two up, two down. Cassidy, Ow, my wrist! <laughs> Cassidy strikes out again. <laughs> Foley had such a gleam in his eye when he said bird bones. <laughs> Hungry. Uh, all right, this one's from Brian. Long time homie here. Never had one read. How garbage is it to pose in front of a bar or restaurant that has your name on it? <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done it. The, Foley, the Foley's never miss an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. You know, we have those Foley estate wine glasses at our house. Yeah, no, I saw them. them. Yeah. And they were like the, the O's missing on the one. Like, it's real bad. Two L's. Yeah. Um, the Foley's. Yeah, we have that. Uh, anytime there's a Foley bar. Any of our cousins sure. connected, anybody, when they're in Ireland or whatever, they say, send them back a picture. Look where it Foley. I know. I did it. I did. I did it as an adult in Germany. We were at, like, there was this, the Sullivan's Bar or something. I walked, And it's like, you, you're such a dirt. I, did, I just, I didn't even think of, like. It's not even your last name. That's my, yeah, but I mean, I my, my, yeah. But it's like, uh, just taking front of, well, I, like, sent it to my mom, like, look. And, like, it didn't even register that I'm, like, a grown man posing in front of. Hey, look, someone has the same name as you. She probably loved it. Oh, uh, look, Sullivan. She said Sullivan's. it to Aunt Patty and Karen. Everybody got it. So if that was Patty, Patty would be angling like, where are they from? Are we connected? Do yeah, we get a piece of this Can you go joint? get a free beer? Yeah, no Tell shit. them you know me. <laughs> <laughs> That's real bad. Yeah, I've done it in front of Tom's places and Cassidy's places both. Absolutely. First name, that's trash. <laughs> Tom's place. The Tom Juice. There's Tom's Juice. Tom's used on auto sales. Fourth He's out in front you mean of Tom's where they filmed or Seinfeld? The outside is that Tom's? too. Yeah, I think so. Or that's what it was called on Seinfeld, right? No, it no, was it's called Restaurant. Monk. Yeah, oh. it was called, it's it's Tom's Restaurant. Sorry, gotcha. Also mm. known as Monks. Yeah, shout out to Monks. Mm-hmm. Made a hell of an omelet. Uh, this one's from DJ Van Dam. Have you ever had a family member you didn't know existed reach out to you on social media? I can't say I have, but my I do run into I do meet people. Still, I was at like a, I was at my grandfather's funeral not too long ago, and someone's like, "This is fucking Terry's cousin Jimmy, who's whatever." Yeah, and he's like, "Hey, how you doing?" You're like, "Hey, what's <clears> up?" <throat> Those Foley records are sealed, right? Now. Oh yeah, <laughs> my boy Kyle you wrote up on in you. Custody, fucking couple twenty three and me's fucking <laughs> fucking told him not to do it. <laughs> but sleeping dogs lie, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. My friend Kyle wrote up on you. He's like, I played baseball with your cousin. Yeah. He's like that type of stuff. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? There's, yeah, there's six degrees of Stevie Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, between the dirt bags I come from in Roxboro and Kensington, it's like, sure. it's a very, it's like a spot. You can't make it in Philly. If you ever like kicked a soccer ball in Philly, I'm somehow related yeah. to you. I can't remember if we talked about the last time I was here, but the, my grandfather had the thing on his deathbed where his aunt told him that he was a Foley. Because his mom had an affair with a Foley. Yeah. And I you don't... didn't know that, Toby? This could be the ultimate plot twist. No. You dun, guys dun, are related? Dun. We've talked about it before. It's possible, yeah. I yes. don't know if we talked about it on the air. How was it disputed? Um, <laughs> Foley doesn't want to give us any money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to, the, he... to the whack estate. <laughs> he now owns 4% of the Patreon or something. Genie, <laughs> yeah. stop better, calling me. Better lawyer up, Cox. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it's a pretty crazy story. Like my grandfather was like meeting his aunt who was on her deathbed and she told him that his mother had an affair Wait, with no, a phone. Your cousin is You're... a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fat fuck in a bad t-shirt. He was apparently a carpet salesman. Uh, yeah, he was. No, I don't know. But I mean. Wait. They they would be in the similar areas. Refer, reverse that. Okay. Who was on his deathbed? The grandfather? No. The grand my grandfather found out by I guess his aunt, I'm sorry, on her deathbed or something in that area. Okay. It was revealed to him much later in life that his mother had an was affair. Who with? with a foley. Hmm. Yeah. So And that so he wasn't the father. Well no, he would have been His mom wasn't of His the mom had a different dad who was a foley. That's the thought. Meaning his father was a Foley. Yeah. Right? Correct. Huh. Who he thought his father was, was not. It was, in fact... A Foley. 
What's wow. fat? You guys are real fucking ticks, I tell you. <laughs> you guys are real parasites. We're like Hydra. Yeah. You're Man. like Ivy. You get you get in and just start fucking taking over. A little roundup. Ruining the host. I'd love to quantum leap into that. Huh? See how that all went down? I love that show. I wish they would remake that show. Why don't we do a, D- a DNA test between you two to see if there's any crossover? Ooh. Man, that would be crazy, wouldn't yeah. it? I don't think I have any DNA on that. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think I'm out. Shit, I'm fresh out. Yeah. Fresh out. Check me back next year. Really. I just jerked off. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Catch that. I just I like how we're like, Foley, we need a DNA sample. You just start chubbing up. We're like, nah, dude, a hair, a hair works, anything, saliva. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not leaving my cups around you guys. Mm. Ooh, baby. Um, this one's from Sideshow. Bob, ever wash a hat? Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, you can't do it. They yeah. have those things the that racks. you can put them in. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's too much. But that's like, come on. I don't what know what that doing? fully works. I don't know. It doesn't. It shrinks them up. You, Shoes yeah. and hats are one of the things that you like. Once you wash it, it it's never. I just gets wash- back to its original thing. No, I just washed these sneakers this weekend. It, it, it doesn't get the, the the material changes. It's the same as a t-shirt. A t-shirt changes from the first time you wear it to after you wash it. It's it's, it's chemically changed. I'll give you that. So it's like, and how'd you dry? Where'd you wash them in the washer? Uh, I used my mom's spray on them first. It was these sneakers that I have on, because it has that grease, that grease strip that just fucking won't come out. I sprayed them with her solution that she does. I let them sit in the sun for a couple hours. Then she washed them. With her toothbrush. Them, hit them again. She did. And then put, I put them outside. They're they're perfect. What do you mean wash them like in the washer? In the washing dishwasher. Oh, that's so gross to me. Mm. Why? Then you put like your utensils in there. The dog licks all that shit off. Yeah, I don't know. It's contaminated to me. That's scalding hot water. Nothing survived in that. I wish oh. I could wash hats, though. Except for you some Foley. It's a shame. You can't. It is a shame. Yeah, just, just get a new fucking hat. Just get new shoes. Yeah, sure. You just said you had a grease stain on your shoes for months that won't come out. I like these, though. They're like the most generic pair of Reeboks or something. You look like you got ran, your foot got ran over by a cartoon truck. Yeah, you do. You're not a white shoe kind of guy. They're not that bad. You're, they're bad. I'm six feet away from you. <laughs> they're bad. I'd like you to stop wearing them because they're too similar to mine. I'm going to buy three more pair. Please. They won't have, they'll probably come with grease stains on them. I don't know, pick up know. a pair afterwards. After what? <laughs> you, just, you just make statements that don't make any sense. After, right, before we go, I'll get After them. we're done recording. Yeah. Full locker, I'm coming. <laughs> Get the hors d'oeuvres ready. Uh, this one's from Josh, new homie here. Haven't uh, Have you ever frequented a bar where regulars had their own usual seat at the bar and get mad if someone else was sitting there? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Definitely have that in, my, in my, home, my hometown watering hole. But I, you can always walk, when you walk into a bar like that, you can sense the vibe of like, oh, this is real fucking regular shit. I'm real aware of that. And I, like, I stay hey, away from... Hey, is it all right? I'll take a booth or fucking whatever. Yeah, stay away from the fucking regular corner. You walk in, everybody looks at yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There's that guy in Atlantic City after that one show we did, you know, that old bar fly who I feel like I is just always in there bar, at that bar. Ago, yeah. The Irish pub? Yeah. I was there last week. Shout out to it. Was that guy there? I don't think so because I was sitting in his seat. But that guy, <laughs> but also too, like guys like that. Well, that guy was like counting our money and stuff. Oh, who's paying for the drinks? Like he was like real in the financial uh, going ons of our our group we had going on. Maybe he was yeah. a planner. So we bought him a drink or something to you mm-hmm. know keep his nose up. I think we ordered a round of shots for us, and he's like, "What am I skip or something? Or must be nice." We're like, All right, get, <laughs> hey, old man, winter, fucking hey, old timer, yeah. get you a bowl of soup, hit the bricks, <laughs> will you? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to talk to chicks here. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to your cousin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. You did have family there. <laughs> he was cute. Uh, all right, this one's from Chris Dunn. First question: Have you ever had a family member ever had anything to do with a dunk tank? I've been in a dunk tank before. You've been in one? Of course. What, where? Um, okay. Las Vegas. What? No. <laughs> I mean, you, you answered, of course, like you have them at your barbecues. We, we used to do... Uh, they were big in the 90s. Like, oh, that yeah. That was like... Not at were. the barbecue. I'm, I'm saying you answered. Oh, You no. were like, oh, of course. Like, you have them every weekend. It was, uh, I think, the Montgomery County Horse Show, which there was no horses, which was weird. They used to do it. So you were like for. the horse show for a little bit. Huh? S was soft for a minute. The horse show. Yeah. Strip club. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was like a, it was a, it was some scam the church did to fucking raise money. Touch the little boys. What are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? You know, the fifty fifty scratchers, some, uh-huh. some funnel cake, and a dunk all, tank, and a, and a dunk tank. And you got in. Yeah, because I was an altar boy. They put us in there. Uh-huh. 
second worst thing that happened to you that day. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get dunked? Did you get sank? Yeah, a bunch of times. Was it holy water? No, it was fucking dirty, fucking ice cold, cold water. It's always, it's not yeah. heat. It's it was in November, I remember. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was sick for like a week. <laughs> there was the guy in Wildwood who did it, like in one of the far away piers. It was Sportland Pier. We would go at like 20 ish. And he was mean. Street. Oh, the meanest man fucking. Can't hit what you can't see. This guy has hey, scarred Kevin, by ass. the way. Oh, dude, what? yeah, he got Call, me. He says scarred you. You've mentioned this multiple times. Oh, yeah. There's Is a he document. dressed like a clown he, he was or a something? clown, yeah. yeah. Called you fat ass? Oh, like, dude, he would get hard. Whatever your nationality was, he was going after it, regardless of PC. Like, he was good. Yeah. Uh, he was like an insult comic. Fat imagine fuck. like you know, Imagine Rickles. But been meaner. drinking all day. But yeah, but meaner. Is behind a cage and has face paint on. Yeah. He was well, your that is really with the... you? Every, Dude, that was... Yeah. That's how you closed out He'd the night. He'd be calling her a dumb whore, too. Yeah. Listen here. What do you... Would, you, would the dad run away? Like, all this shit? Yeah. Wait. Oh, I mean, he was, he was ruthless. And he was worse than that. Oh, yeah. He was, like, all 1991. Like, yeah. Like, There's a documentary about him on YouTube. Interesting. What was his name? Oh, I, didn't, I didn't think it was HBO. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Netflix. That really is the bottom rung of show business, though, isn't it? Yeah. An insult dunk guy. <laughs> Who did the doc? <laughs> Ken Burns? What are we talking about here? But he was vicious, and that was such a big... I loved it. Like, fucking loved, loved, loved. I was scared. Oh, I threw a couple of times early on. I'm like, maybe... And then it was rigged, too. Like, the, you could only, like, the spot you had to hit was, like, that big, and uh-huh. the rest was, like, loose rubber. Yeah. So if you hit it, it would just like go through it. Yeah. And every time he got hit, he would come back up and go high and dry. Four <laughs> eyes can't hit what you can't see. He told my brother, because my brother had big ears. He told my brother. He Dude, looked, got me on that. He looked like a Cadillac going down Broad Street with the doors open or something <laughs> like that. Like he was fucking. He hit me with yeah. that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified of that too. Yeah. I was terrified of clowns in general. I didn't fuck with them when I was. A yeah, kid. this one yeah. looked like. Yeah, dude, yeah, he was just sitting no. there smoking cigarettes. No, no, they took. I mean, the makeup this. never came off. Makeup in the water. He was like off, the yeah. Joker. Yeah, or something. It was real Joker vibe, like even mean, meaner Joker vibes. Yeah, the makeup. Didn't... Uh-uh. <laughs> dude, he was scary. And then I... we learned he would he would he would leave with a police escort at the end of the night under the boardwalk because people were waiting for him and they were like, yeah. he, the cops were like, dude, he left an hour ago, man. That is crazy, isn't it? People would wait to beat the fucking shit out of them. Yeah. Sounds like a real good time. Man, in the 90s, Different that's times, a funnel man. cake, some Sam's pizza. Remember the, the Dracula castle? Yeah, that someone lost their down? leg in that. Yeah. <laughs> One of the guys Wildwood was fucking the Wildwood most garbage, awesome place yeah. in the world really in the early 90s. Else. Crazy. Um, there was literally a, a Dracula castle on its own. Mm-hmm. It was huge. It was, a, it was a haunted house, and this guy was trying to scare... Like a teenager, like, you know, the guy in there, mm-hmm. like, jumped out and he was like, ha! Ah! And the guy's like, you can't scare me, pussy. So he goes, oh, I'll get him. So he went somewhere, like, where Cut he his wasn't, foot off. wasn't supposed to be, that, like, the actor did, the guy working. And there was, like, some sort of spring loaded, like, thing that shot out and his leg was in the spring and just cut him off at the knee. And the kid in the, kid in the fucking ride got blood all over him. Oh, and he's like, shit. ah, yeah, whatever. He thought it was fake. Really, the guy's got his fucking. Leg cut off. Yeah. Had to take him out on a stretcher. They need a documentary on that place, too, if they don't got one. It was a kid who was working for the summer from Ireland. Yeah, yeah. It's Definitely a Foley. Yeah. A <laughs> this is deeper than I thought. We're all over the place now. Yeah. <laughs> I want to borrow money. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> all right, we got to wrap it up. Tommy. Yes. We fucking love you. Love you, pal. Check out the special. I can't make the yes. wedding. God bless. New album. Sh- send Life a check after in the mail. Funny. Life after funny. Yeah. Out on YouTube right now. Yeah. Yes. Streaming services tomorrow. Streaming services July 15th, tomorrow, Friday. Doing all the live shows with us out there on the road. Everybody fucking loves love Tommy. It. Great times, man. Everybody's been so awesome. Thank you guys for having me on the road in here today. It was so much fun. Of course. Thank you, um, buddy. And we'll see you guys all in Red Bank, New Jersey on August 11th. Make sure you get those tickets. Because it's creeping. About to sell out. Sell out. Coming everywhere. Philly, Boston, Providence, the whole nine yards. Going to be a good time. Gang, we fucking love you. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.